Um, laptop's just gone to sleep over here, but uh, we are uh, we're working on it. So just going to uh, wait for the technology. The f***ing laptop. The f***ing laptop. Logging back in. So guys, just doing a quick follow-up video um, from the property in Leeds, Cold Coats. So just a reminder um, of what we did on this one. We purchased it for 78000 I'm getting the full cost message through. Um, the reason we chose to put it into auction is by the time we refurbed it, we were going to be all in £100,000. Um, and the revaluation would be about 120,000. So we're going to have about 20,000 pound profit in there. But so instead of doing the refurbishment, we thought we'd chuck it into auction. And if we sell it for 100,000, then our net profit is around 17,000 um, pounds. We've taken a bit of a risk on this because we had a pre-auction offer at 100,000. And we've got that um, final bids pre-auction were on what day are we now Wednesday so it was a Monday night we had a hundred thousand so we would be at 17,000 but I just thought you know what it's so close to the auction day is that bid a really gonna bid so we've got it reserved at 95 so theoretically it could sell at 95,000 and we've lost five grand by making that decision or 4,500 after fees that's the risk we play and we made sure yesterday the person that offered 100,000 is registered as a bidder because you need to be registered so we're on lot 34 starting now this will be quite interesting okay seeing where it starts we'll log back in a moment in just give me now. a second very, very quiet let's see if we can change that uh lot 34 37 Towngate in wyke uh right right on the main the main high street if you're familiar with wyke small tenanted commercial unit um so what we want to see is the starting uh, bid on, on the, this uh so looking well guide price we had 25 to 30 we may as well start at 25 25 come on it's nice and cheap it's okay so starting at 25 grand we really want to see so when you're selling at auction the guide price it can be quite scary because if you have a low guide price the pro is it's going to attract loads of people in so for example lot number one on this um, was a guide price of 80,000 pounds okay and it sold for 300 and something thousand so that worked really well got loads of people interested and you just start this massive bidding war what we've done wrong is we should have made sure that it was in the first 15 lots to make sure we've got loads of interest. Uh, we've got a bit of a tired audience right now. So I am nervous about it, if I'm honest. I think they're going to start it around 80, 85. I've seen others in this going starting at 90 and ending at 130. So I'm hoping we're going to get that spread. So we're up next. I am nervous. If it doesn't sell, um, I'd prefer it not to sell than for sell, to sell at like 95, 96, because if it doesn't, then we can get in touch with that person that offered 100. And often those people will come back at that um, and see where they're at. So I'd prefer it go to like that. But if it sells for 100 on the nose, then it was worth the risk. Obviously, everything above that is pure money. So we see. So this one we completed on late last month. So um, yeah, let's see. Let's see where we're at on the numbers and uh, we'll see what the profit margins are but i need to chase down up and then we'll get started needed hammers up then we bought it for pounds. seventy-two thousand. so it's a probate property um where the brother and uh, brother and sister inherit inherited the property end valuation we think about 120 to 125 after a 25 grand refurb which is why we decided not to refurbish it to get that profit at the end it's back on let's see what he's saying and uh, next lot, lot 35, 64 Cold Coats Avenue. Uh, so all in cost 79 like grand. Large through terrace needing a full update. Let's call it 80 grand. Uh, Anything above profit, so finance costs about two uh, grand. So we're in for 82. So we need to take 1% uh, of the really price. Two reception rooms, four bedrooms. Um, we've got two telephone bids. We've got online bidders. Um, we've got a guide price of 85 to 95. So uh, we'll start at 85. We'll see where it goes. Um, we're in at 85 straight away. That's wonderful. We're, ta we're taking it in ones. We're off at 85, 86 we need. Uh, off at 85. Oh, actually, I get nervous just watching this. I've got it on the phones now, sorry. 
bid 87 instead. So 86 on the phones and 87 and 87 online. Yes, please. Well done. 87 online then. We need 88. We've got 88 online. I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> Thank you very much. With Rob then on the phone, 89 online and 90. Thank you, Rob. And 91 needed. We've got 90 on the phones. Look at 91, 91, 92. and 92 and 93. 92 on the phones. 93, 93, 94. 94 it's 94. going quick. Excellent bidding. 95, we've hit the reserve. So it's selling now. 96. Now too soon. Not looking at me now. Ninety-five thousand pounds. I'll give it ninety-six. Oh, Simon, what do you feel? Ninety-five thousand pounds. Then I'll give it ninety-six anywhere. Are we all done? The hammer is up. And mm, ninety-five thousand no. pounds. He's been busy today, Mr. T. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Next one. Bid ninety-seven. Fuck mine. We'll Don't sell for that. Ninety-seven. Q and ninety-eight. Got ninety-seven bid. Looking for ninety-eight. Ninety-seven bid. Looking for ninety-eight anywhere. I think. I think it's worth it. If that no. makes a difference. There we go. 90, ninety-eight. Uh, Ninety-nine. 99. So one more thousand, one thousand makes thousand it anyway. worth the risk. But now, if it goes through at ninety-nine, 99 we've only lost nine hundred by rejecting it. 99 bid, looking for 100. Hammers up then. At 99,000, selling once. 100, 100, okay, now it's all profit. So it's worth 101. We've got 102. I see 102 anyway. We've got 101 there. 101 current bid, looking for 102. Hammers up. Once. 102. And 103. 100 and 103. 103, come on. Yeah, 103 and 104. 103 bid, looking for 104. Got 103 there. I can feel the energy in this one. Keep going. 100, 104. Thank you. 105. 104 grand. 105. We need. 105. We've got 106. We need. 105. 6,000. Where are you? 17. 22,000. Hammers up at 105. Oh, yeah. Selling once. Come on. Selling twice at 105,000 pounds. Are we all done? Third and final chance. I'm looking at you, and you're in. 106. Well done. 106,000 pounds. Looking for 107. 106,000. It's not changed on the thing. It's not changed on it. Um, laptop's just gone to sleep over here, but uh, we are uh, we're working on it. So I'm just going to uh, wait for the technology the to catch. Fucking the laptop. The so fucking laptop. Logging back in and pressing uh, pressing a few buttons, but it'll uh, we'll all be good in a minute. So don't panic. I'm not bringing the hammer down. I'm keeping us. I'm keeping us going. Just breathe, everybody. Breathe, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. F. You will get another chance. And you're the highest bidder now. So well done. Fucking breathe. 106,000 pounds. Looking for 107 anywhere. 107. We need. We've got 106 bid. We all, <laughs> we all panicking then. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. B at home. I bet. Pick up the energy, man. Come on. Uh, 106,000 pounds. Then is that it? Are we all done at 106,000 pounds? You are allowed to bid 107 if you choose to. We've got the hammer up at 106,000 pounds. Looking for 107 anywhere. Selling once. Selling twice at 106,000 pounds. I'm going to come to you once more, Simon. Definitely out. Sold then at 106,000. Well placed. So. Fuck yeah. That, let's just work out the numbers. 106k. Stop the recording on there. Uh, lot 35, A. Hey. So 106,000. I'm not gonna lie, that was squeaky bum time when it was 99 grand and slowing down. So 106,000. We need to take 1% off of that because that's going to them. So that's 104,940. Um, Minus 82,000. Okay, so we've got profit of £22,940. Bear in mind, and again, if you remember on the property review video, we were going to refurbish that and be all in for a hundred to a hundred and two thousand for an end valuation between a hundred and twenty pushing a hundred and twenty-five. So our absolute best case scenario is we would have made the exact same amount of money after that. So 22,940, absolute buzzing. Okay, so sorry I've got a smirk on my face and looking smug as anything, but um, my team were um, debating whether it was a good business decision to reject the 100,000. And um, I'm glad that it sold for uh, 106K and covered it in. So some really quick tips um, about this. First of all, whenever you're buying a property, it's good to work out what you want to do with it. And when we were purchasing this property, the idea was we were gonna buy it, refurbish it and, re and sell it on. And so we had a primary idea and it's always good to have that. But once you've actually bought it and you've exchanged on the property, you don't need to worry. 
um, as much. You're not in a huge rush. And so you can think about the different options that we're looking at. You can think about it. And so when we look to auction, the great thing is on auction terms, now that that hammer has hit it, and as soon as that hit down, we've exchanged on the property. So all of the legals are already done. So now they will have around 28 days to complete on the property. So it's a done deal. It's, it's very, 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 very rare that's gonna fall out. So it gives you that. Some quick tips, one of which I didn't follow is you always want to get it in the first 15, at least the first 20, okay? So it's just the most interest. It means that they are more confident about it. Ours was lot 35 in that. So. Were they the most, most excited in the world to get it? No, but they were very confident about the prices. So we set that reserve at 95,000. And if it sold them at 95,000, we still would have made about that 12, 13,000 pound mark. So we would have been not over the moon, but pretty happy about it. The second tip I'll give you is always assume it doesn't sell. So most auction houses will go, well, look, I'm still gonna charge you 750 pound to a grand to put it in auction. Cause you know, they need to go there, do some viewings, put together the auction pack, the legal pack, etc. However, we, because of the, the relationship that we've got and we've built up, negotiated down to 250 pounds. So our only risk of putting this in auction is 250 pounds, because if it sold at 95, that's the price we were gonna be happy with. The second thing is ask if they have an affiliate scheme, okay? So this normally would be 2% plus at, two, um, at a minimum of two grand as fees. Okay, so if it only, if it sold at, um, less than 100,000, they would have charged us two grand. Um, however, as an affiliate, you get 50% of that. So what that means is we introduced us at, through the affiliate scheme that we've got with them, meaning that our fees are halved. So we only pay 1% um, at a minimum of a thousand, a thousand pound. So we sold that 106,000, which means we got it at 1,060 pounds as a fee plus the 250. So not too bad. And when you take account of all of that, because of the risk mitigation in there, because we don't need to be doing the refurbishment, we end up making a lot more um, return on this. So we'll double check the numbers once we're back in the office to make sure we've got accurate figures for you guys. And we'll also look at the return on capital employed as a percentage as well. So let me know any questions you've got around auctions or this video or this property. And of course, if you're interested in finding out more properties that we're buying, selling, refurbishing and renting out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you've got any value from this video, smash the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought. See you in the next video.